You're welcome to Hope Expression Ministry and I'll be giving you a lecture on why a minister of the gospel is needed in the body of Christ. Yeah, there's no gender discrimination. A man or a woman can be a minister of the gospel. First of all, why a minister is needed or why God needs you as a minister is for a relationship. Oh yes. A minister is not just needed for the work of the ministry, no. A minister is first of all needed for the fellowship, a personal relationship with the Lord. Every other thing must arise from this spot. In this kingdom, we tell the personal relationship with the Father. There is no chance for you to function as a minister of the gospel. So first of all is a relationship before your assignment. Your assignment should be an extension of the intimacy you and God have. How can you represent a person you don't have a relationship with? It doesn't make any sense. So ministry is a combination of your relationship with God and how you represent him. That's just the beauty of it. Never you forget this. You know, your assignment is to dress and to keep a certain kind of people and a certain kind of system that applies to your passion, to your interest, and to your curiosity in life based on your personal revelation of who God is to you. You're not sent to everybody. You're not sent to every place. You need to understand every place is not your place. Everybody is not your assignment. Dress and keep. Improve and protect. There is something you have been designed to protect and to improve. But know this, that we are different members but of the same body. So as a minister of God, you must have a complementary mentality. Whatever God is using others to do, your ministry is to complement their ministry. Your ministry is not supposed to shut their ministry down. No, it's not supposed to shut their ministry down. You need to participate. You need to participate in other people's ministry. Other people's ministry need to participate in your ministry. You can't do ministry in isolation. Is needed for participation. So you need to participate in the doings of God. You need to have a complementary mentality. You are not anointed than anybody. Nobody is anointed than you. Because our assignment is to complement each other's work and assignment and edify the body of Christ. Let nothing discouraging and condemning and judgmental leave your mouth to anybody. As a minister, you're here to edify. Even if you're correcting, please don't condemn. Even if you're rebooking, please don't reject this individual. As a minister, your first job description is to root out every high imagination that raises himself against the knowledge of God. That is your first assignment. That's why as a minister, the first thing you will notice in your generation and in people or in professions is mistakes and errors and faults of people. But these things are the things that should be rooted out. So you need to understand that. So the faults and the mistakes you see in people is not because something is wrong with them, but it's because you're called to them. You need to tear down every idea, every imagination that does not represent or reflect the person of Jesus. Root out anything that does not reveal Jesus. Tear down anything that does not rep represent Jesus. That's your first assignment as a minister of the gospel. So please... You've got to manage the faults and the mistakes you see around you. You need to manage it. Then you need to understand what God wants you to do. You've got to build. The people of God are given to you for you to build them. Don't tear them down. Don't, 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 don't tear them down. Don't look down on them. Don't despise them. No, build them. Build them according to what God has revealed to you. Build their faith. Let your words be edifying. Let your attitudes be edifying. Build. Do not tear down. Do not abuse. Do not victimize. Being a prophet doesn't mean you can be rude and abusive. Then your final assignment as a minister is to plant the people in the world. Plant them in the consciousness of God's love for their life. Plant them in the center of their personal relationship with God. Don't point the people to yourself. Point them to Jesus. This is the only way forward, people of God. We must understand this. 
Because as a minister, God expects us to do this. A minister is needed for the practicing of the interest of God according to the reason, location, people, time, and pattern God needs it to be done. May the Lord help you. May the Lord keep you. May his eyes shine upon you. May we not be found wanted. In Jesus' name.